Jackie. Oh, sorry. Back. Jackie the Joke Man Martling, if you want to order Jackie's new comedy CD, only $10 plus $3 shipping and handling. Call 1 800 323 5464. Jackie. 78 full minutes of jokes. Yeah. Jackie got a 1 800 number. It's like a whole big deal. We don't have any of Jackie's interviews yesterday. No. Oh, yes, we do. We have them all. Oh, good. Next, that's going to be for Monday's show. Next Wednesday, March 30th, at Chuckles Comedy Club in Mineola on Long Island. Go try and stump the Joke Man. Is the, is the retard brigade out there? Oh, in full force. All right, let him what in. What are they doing here? Well, what happened was Melrose Irie Green is here uh, doing Stuttering John's video. Yeah. Which I guess you're doing. I am? I don't know. No, Who's I'm doing not. it? No, uh, Kenneth Keith Callenback is doing it. Um, Melrose Larry. What is he putting every retard in it? No, just those two. Yeah. Uh, and let's see who else is doing it. Um, Grandpa Al Lewis is doing it. And Sting is doing it. Oh. And Gene Simmons is doing it. Really? Nuno. Do you know who Nuno is? Sure. Nuno. That's what I call Fred. <laughs> Nuno from Mars. Who is Nuno? What's the name of that band that did it? Uh, Nuno Betancourt. Nuno Betancourt. What's the name of the band again? Uh, Extreme. Extreme. Oh. Oh, that's a good band. Yeah. More than words. I didn't know the guy's name was Nuno, though. I'll stop listening to him. Nuno. <laughs> <laughs> Nuno. 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 Someone's got to have a weird name. And uh, anyway, so Melrose Larry Green is in town. And then the only reason I had him up again is because we got a hold of that message he left on Ratso's machine, which Gary says, once I hear it, I'll be throwing Melrose off the show permanently. You will ban him for life. Wait. Yeah. You will ban him for life. I guarantee it. He was so it, excited about his appearance here yesterday, oh, and oh. today could end it all. Oh. Yeah, this will be his last appearance. <laughs> and uh, Kenneth Keith Callum back. Who's always a favorite. Meanwhile, Jackie went in the men's room. Kenneth Keith comes here and has to use the men's room. Why oh, is he it waiting? is still bad. Really? It, that was an hour and a half ago. I yeah, I have had to pee for the last hour, and I haven't because Kenneth Keith was in the bathroom doing his rudeness. It is unbelievable. Yeah. I'm going to play the tape, and I'm going to hear what you say about me. Howard, I have a whole campaign speech for you. Just sit down. Let me talk to Kenneth Keith first. Hey, Kenneth, man. Seriously, you know I dig you and everything, but why do you have to come here and go to the bathroom? Why don't you go to the bathroom at home? Well, or on the street, I didn't like think I had to do. until I was like five minutes away from the building. Really? What, did you eat a lot of food last night? I want to park. Mm, no, it's just, that's, you know, it's just natural. That's the way it is. What, did we make you nervous or something and you have to go? No, I don't know what it was. Man. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to throw Melrose Larry Green out of here. I can't. He's, he's giving hand signals. I'm he's, ignoring him. Don't worry. God forbid I talk to uh, someone else while he's in the. You know what? Let me just let me let me let's end our association. He let me could play. Be ready to make one of those phone calls. No, because Howard, you're not talking to him. I yeah. won't talk. I won't say no, because words. you're a big little baby. You're a big little baby. <laughs> because I have you on the show when it's appropriate. That's what makes you good. I had you on the show all the time, like a desperate uh, Fraser Smith. Right. The show would suck. Before you throw me off the show, I want to say you. And have then the media. second I don't have you on the air, yes. you badmouth me to Ratso, a no. guy you hardly know. Those tapes. If you play those tapes, Howard, I'm playing it right now. Oh, I want to hear. For me? Yeah. Oh, let me hear it. I haven't heard it yet. I tell you the truth, I have not heard it yet. I tell you, these these really are the tapes. I'm only giving you one example, but these are the tapes oh, of boy. a mental patient because it's almost like manic depressive. After he gets angry, and why he was he angry on these tapes? For, because we had not had him on for a very long period of time. You'll hear it. Okay. It starts off slow and it builds to a great crescendo. Can I say one thing. And then why you badmouth me. Ratso? Yeah, you badmouth me to Ratso. That's the most embar embarrassing thing. Ratso. If I put you in the book and everything, how you made my machine. entire life? I went through a period of of. All right, well, let me hear this. Maybe it's not as bad as Gary says. Why is he on the phone with Ratso? I don't understand that. No anymore. one knows. Why is he on the phone with Jackie Mason? What? But if you're going to complain about Howard, why would you call Ratso? All right, I didn't complain about Howard. I, all right? All right, let's hear. Let's hear if you didn't complain about me. Oh, boy. He looks nervous. Oh. Oh, hi, this is Melrose, Larry Green. Look, I'm sorry to... I'm kind of bummed, man, because I am got really used by the whole Howard Stern gig. Uh, I never heard from those guys ever again. You know, no matter if I'm that pay-per-view, Howard Stern, just like Peter Tilden, Fraser Smith, the role manipulators, users. <laughs> I'm broke. I got no money. Uh, you know, I, they could all kiss my ass as far as I'm concerned. I want no part of them. Mm -hmm. And it was nice to meet you. never heard from Infinity. I got tons of bills. Mm -hmm. Every dog has his day, man, and I guarantee you that Stern will have his day, too. He used me. I want no part of him. I'm mad at Gary. I'm mad at John. I'm mad at Gorilla. They're all And I'm not 
joking either. My name and uh, if you want to give me a call, that's fine. But take just like Peter Tilden, and believe me, I'll, I'll I got some surprises. Not violent, man, but it'll blow them away when they hear what I'm going to do. Believe me, I'm going to call Don Imus as soon as I can get a hold of him, and I'll work for Don Imus. I'm really pissed at all those jerks, and I mean it. Never call me back, nothing. I never heard from anybody. Never got on the air again. Stern knew I was in New York. Live, he saw me. He saw the and I, you know, I'll blow the whistle on him if I felt like it, and I could ruin that guy if I felt like it. Goodbye. What? Oh boy. Oh, can I say one thing? First of all, all those retards that you mentioned, like Peter Tilden and stuff, that's a guy who used to listen to me in Philadelphia, went off and stole my act and tried to do it in Los Angeles, except what, he you, failed. You were standing oh, out on a corner man, with his no, name on a no. sign before? Can I just say one thing? And what, hey, listen, is let that me tell you something. And then, and then, and then what is it? What, you, why don't you blow the lid on me right now? What is it that you know about me? All right. The whole thing yeah. was a complete mental breakdown that I suffered. <laughs> you made me so famous, Howard. Now let me just call a spade a spade. All right. All right. Don't use racial terms. I'll get upset. Uh, uh, this is the this this is the saddest day of my life. All right. You know what? You know what? I'm tired of you. I'm no, tired of you. I'm not going to. You know, I'm you're kidding. I'm not. I'm not kidding you, Howard. Well, what, what is you that? You made me really famous. Okay? I say I talk to you, you on the air. Totally I try to make you famous. famous. How are we supposed and to pay you? Yeah. No, I mean, what is this? What is this? Howard doesn't give me money. I'm broke. No, I felt I felt I felt bad that I wasn't in the pay per view. At all. What paper? You know, Who even thought of you? Came out to the you want to be a beauty pageant? <laughs> no, I came out. I was freezing out there. It was so yeah, cold. so? Who I'm told like, you to come? Well, that's... Who invited you? Oh, look, Howard, if you want to throw me off the air, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, what is uh, wrong with you? I, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to... And what, tell me something. You say you're going to ruin me. How are you going to ruin me? I didn't mean that. I take that back. Right, what can, go ahead. Reveal what you have on me. I you wanted on Red to call you because you I have notes I made for you for governor. What? I made notes for you for governor. I had a whole bit prepared with paper. All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Howard. I should say that these phone calls were followed by phone calls of him begging him not to play us this I method. didn't want them playing. Well, well now I know they're true, your true colors. They're not my true feelings, though, Howard. I was going to invite you up to the convention with me to stand up my I'm side. I'm going to go to Albany, I, no, 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 you're going to be standing outside. Howard, this is not what I wanted to happen. And, uh, you know, I'm really, I have the opportunity to talk to you, and I just want to say I'm totally sorry for that phone call. L.A. is awful. We had a terrible earthquake, an act of God. I lost material in the earthquake. My apartment was totally trashed. I came back. I have no life anymore. And the Howard Stern show is my entire life. You made everything in my career. Yeah, I'm not a mental yeah, patient. Yeah, okay, good. I'm not a lunatic, Howard. Yeah, all right. And, and Kenneth is staying in my room tonight. And what? I always feel bummed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. No, I said I always I... feel bummed. Kenneth, you're staying in his room? No, I told him if I can't find anywhere else to stay. I mean, as a last resort, I'll go there. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was desperate. Oh, dude. But I don't think so now. You I, guys going to have a pajama party? Oh, I, really, <laughs> I feel so. <laughs> oh, man. I go from the top of the world to the bottom of the trash heap. I should. I, but I who deserve took this. You there? Who Howard, took you're you doing there? the right thing. Who took thing. you there? You brought me. You made my entire life. No, Howard. you took you there. You had an entree on the show, and you're look right. what you do. I mean, you right away, you start challenging me. I blew it. Well, I lost Melrose, the Larry, Larry over. All right, Aww. all right. Yeah. This is not a joke, folks. No, it's not. You should be ashamed of yourself. I. I've been good to you, <laughs> Melrose. I Larry feel like out. the Rosenbergs in 1950. I'm innocent. Right. <laughs> like the Rosenbergs, Edgar and Julius, who died these innocent are, people. These are I say Jake. to my unborn children. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, mia culpa. Mia baba buoy culpa. All right. Very good. Melrose, thank you for coming in. This is the saddest day. I hope you're taping this, King of Songbirds. This is my last show. And let me say, I'm not doing Peter Tilden after this. Oh, Frazier Smith. This is great. I don't do I bad about these. I bad about the guys that he... That he oh, God. <laughs> and I got to see my mother after this. <laughs> when does it end? Bring back Sam Kennison for so one what, last gig. Does he gig. do a bunch of radio shows? I, I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah, he he does, after favorite. he comes on my radio show, he all the other dish jockeys start guys, putting I him on, too, thinking maybe the little magic will rub off on them. I Fraser see. Smith does a comedy show on our L.A. station oh. on Saturday nights, and Larry hangs around and, you know... I used to be on and, and, and puts him on, but I think Fraser got sick of him. So oh, now really? Larry sits in the front row. Of course, because Fraser put him on way too much. You overexposed him. Oh, can I sit here and say anything? <laughs> no, I tell you what, you can leave... Let me hear your governor's speech, and if it's right. good, I'll okay, let you go okay, back okay. to my grace. Give me some patriotic music, Fred. Uh, now okay. giving orders. Thank you. <laughs> you're lucky you're in here. Maybe uh, Battle Him of the Republic. If you like weren't that. such a good retard, I wouldn't uh, pay attention to you. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Melrose Larry Green, and I'm here to tell you and yours why you should vote for Howard Stern for governor of the city. All right, of all right. I had enough of it. Howard I, I'm Stern's bored a family with him. man, a self-starter. Really? It's good. It's enough. 
He made ninety six dollars a week when he started out. All right, Briarcliff Manor, New York. All right, just you know, we'll leave now while I still like you. Okay. All right. Okay. Goodbye. Author, video, Elton, <laughs> King of all media. All right, I'm out of here. All right, goodbye. Oh, I'm gonna talk okay. to Kenneth Keith a little. Oh, <laughs> Kenneth, you still stay in my room. All right, I'll that be was my segment, guys. Good. How is your segment? How is my segment? Your oh, phone man. call was incredible. I feel like Jesus. Melrose is on the backstage Thank tape God. at one eight hundred fifty two Stern. Is he yeah. upset? I mean, I don't understand. No, that. he's all right. He knows. He knows that he's such a retard that. Thank you, Ratso. Thank you, Ratso. His fault. My last words. All right, Melrose. Where are you going to be out on the street? Uh, I'm looking for a bullet. Jeez. No, no, I don't know. I'm probably going to be on the street. Yeah. All right. Is this for me, Howard? Yeah, it's enough. You did enough. It's good. We all enjoyed hearing you. No, he doesn't not... mean is that it. He finished oh, you want the show? I'm going to think about it. Right. Let me think about it. I'm sorry, Howard. All right. Okay. Apology uh, not accepted. You just have to think about what you're saying. Just think about what you're saying there, Melrose. Robin's right. Think about what you're saying. Dummy. <laughs> Kenneth Keith, what's your story, man? What are you doing here? Oh, you're in John's video? Yeah, I'm uh, in John's video. He asked me to come up. But I just wanted to... Do you know what your part is? Yeah, I'm playing bass guitar, and I'm going to thrash out a little. Uh, can you play? Yeah, I can play very well. Oh. So, uh, oh, so you're in town for that. Yeah. Because you come up here, man, you go to the bathroom. Why don't you just go to the bathroom on the street like you normally do? <laughs> I was looking this guy, for it. This looking guy looking sends me a video of him and his buddies, yeah. and they're just walking around outside and going to the bathroom. All uh, of a sudden, he just got to go. Yeah, like no toilet paper, nothing. And there's a picture of him going to the bathroom in the woods, and it's like, who wants to see that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. I know you should have seen this. Thing. What would be unhealthy? <laughs> that's not unhealthy. <laughs> Jack, uh, Jack, you you don't think that's unhealthy? I think that's pretty unhealthy. <laughs> If you take your, if you take your own waste materials and put them in your mouth, that's unhealthy. <laughs> well, I. We had a reason. Taking your own waste and putting it in your mouth. That's you wonder why you can't get girls. <laughs> well, the last time I was up here, you told you asked me if I pleasured myself, and I said nah. And then I got the feeling guilty about it, and. Your I guess, own waste material. I guess I mouth. fibbed. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. Put your own waste in your mouth. Uh, no. You're a waste of time, is what you are. You know, it was listen funny. To this yeah. show? It was too you have a reputation. You. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, it was funny, man. Oh, yeah. It's funny. I guess it's better than shooting uh, bottle rockets out of his pants. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. But anyway, so. Then you come up here and you go to the bathroom. You stink up the whole place, and then he play, then he sprays like Don't Lysol he... all over the bathroom, and it oh, reeks. Why would it smell like that? Doesn't he flush? <laughs> yeah, it flushes as soon as it comes out. That way, it went pretty gross. God knows what you're eating. Reeks well, we know that. what you're eating. What do you What did you eat last <laughs> night? What do you eat? Uh, tacos. I <laughs> <laughs> must have been it, and you know, ham and uh, whatever. Tacos and ham. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it smells like, I guess. <laughs> Where do you get these tacos and ham? Buy it at the store. Really? And last night you ate in Philadelphia or you ate here in New York? Philadelphia. I drove up today. Oh, yeah? You drive? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Got a high on day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can afford a car? Oh, that's right. You deliver the mail. Yeah. Runs. Yeah. No, he doesn't work for the post office. He no. Got a, he got a beeper now. Oh, do you? Why do you have a yeah. beeper? Important phone calls. Gary beats me all the time. Really? Yeah. Don't want to miss him. <laughs> nah. I got to take a break. You can hang out in here for a little bit. Because uh, cool. you amuse me. He cool, is man. Beavis and Butthead. I'm he is. He's cool. both of them. He's head of the retard club. <laughs> You're the biggest retard on the show, I've decided. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's I thought... an honor. <laughs> Thanks, man. Congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate it. What are you doing now? Um, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, with yourself. I mean, do you... Whatever works. Whatever works. He's, well, he's got a job, but he's trying to... Yeah, he's but... trying to... 
make some money off the show. Like he's trying to find a place for himself. Like some of the guys sing, and some yeah. of the guys, you know, he just doesn't have anything to do. So he doesn't have an act yet together. I'm just trying everything. Whatever works, works. I mean, so far nothing's worked. <laughs> yeah. He does really inappropriate stand-up material. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's really awful. All right, let's take a break, and uh, Kenneth Keith will join us afterwards. And I got a bunch of things to read you from the newspaper. We got some news to do. It's Friday. We're having fun. Maybe we'll take a few phone calls when we get back. Right after these words. Turn show. Yes, Papa Fui. Do you Papa care? Um, you know that Melrose Larry's in the lobby sobbing. Oh, oh. He's crying. Yeah. Oh. No, I don't care. One of our interns is out there is consoling him, but I, I thought he was kidding. You know, I figured he was kidding, but either that or the guy can just cry on command. Why didn't he cry on the air? I don't know. I guess he didn't. Is realize. he really crying? Yeah. Let's see him cry. I like to see him cry, but if he's not crying, throw him out of okay. here. Drag him in here quickly. You're going to stay at that guy's house today, Kenneth Keith? I, no, see, I know a few people in town, and I told him if it was a last resort, I would go stay there, but I don't know about it. He seems kind of weird, you know? No. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he does. Isn't it weird that, like, Kenneth Keith thinks Melrose Larry Green is weird? That's a sad statement. Why would he get you, like, down to your underwear and stuff, so chasing you around the room, ties yeah. you up and kills you? I don't think he's like that. He no. You never know. Hey, Jeffrey Dahmer seemed normal. <laughs> are you really crying? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm really crying. What are you really crying, crying about, because retard? You made my entire life, Howard. You hey, no my... kidding, and then you messed me I up. I blew it. I blew it, Howard, and I'm going to get on my hands and knees. No, All right. Stop it. No, let him get on his hands I'll, and knees. I'm stop on my it. hands and knees to apologize right now, and I want to say... <laughs> he is that crying. I, I am terribly apologetic. All right, see, I, all right. All right. He I didn't kick you off the show, Melrose. He oh. said he's going to think about it. Oh, he didn't kick me off? No, I didn't kick you off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm crying for happiness. I'm back on. I'm back on. I didn't say you're back on. Oh, okay. But I'm I said I'm off. thinking about it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Our intern is out there, like, wigging out because, you know, she's out there like the camp counselor. Who's, you know, the, who's wigging? Sandy. Sandy. She's, she's just, like, you know, rubbing his back on. Don't worry, Larry. Don't worry. It's in I the lobby. Swear. And, like, there's people coming in and out. Can I just say one thing? Why don't you leave? On two days' notice, you got 10,000 people to come to Pasadena. You know, on two days' notice, on three days' notice, you assembled a multitude more media than anybody in the history of the world when you started He's the He's not really crying. Get out of here. I Listen. was crying. No, 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 no. And, and when I was in every autograph I've ever signed is because of you, Howard. Every time I've been recognized, nobody ever believed in me before you, Howard. You're going to stay at his place, Kenneth? We're no, going to party. We're going to drink Snapple and listen to Best of. Right. What, what are we going <laughs> <laughs> to We're going to listen to Best of tonight. All right, all right. Get out of here. You got to see him on the corner. Oh, I love with you, his Howard. Sign. Thank yeah, you I know. for taking my apologies. Another reason to vote for Howard for governor. Go. Kenneth thinks you're an a-hole. Can you believe that? Oh! He's right. <laughs> <laughs> All All right. right. Thanks a lot, Howard. How, how was it? I was Go really away. Crying. Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> my father died. Your father died? Yeah, he was sick. He smoked. He oh, smoked. Yeah. When did he die? Mike Scott. Yeah. <laughs> My father died. It was six when? years ago. Oh, six. Get I'm out over of here. Yeah, of course you're over. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's got Howard Stern on the back of his jacket. Yeah, you got to forgive him. All right, I forgive you. <laughs> All right. All right. I love you. <laughs> I'm going to throw him out. <laughs> Some retard. Today's the retard show. <laughs> Speaking of retards. You know, have you ever thought of testing Kenneth Keith's IQ? I don't think he's real bright. Have you ever had an IQ test? I don't, I don't know. I, I think I did, but I don't remember what it is. Hey, move over to this microphone, will you? I can't see you so good. I don't want to miss anything, like all the facial tape. Yeah, I love to just watch him. Yeah, he's all rickety. What's the square root of four? Two. Right. Oh, hey, maybe there's something there. <laughs> can't ask some more. All right. <laughs> all retards like to be tested. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I don't know. I ran out of questions. Ask me to spell something. All right. Uh, monolith. What is a monolith? No, you don't have to give the definition. Just spell it. M O N O L I F. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he sounded it out. <laughs> you got mono right. Uh, I don't know what it I never heard of that word. <laughs> what is white water? I don't know. You don't know anything about it? Something that the president was doing or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this way I'm not talking about political stuff Do anymore. You are you registered to vote? Uh, I voted uh, last time for the first time. but Who would you vote for? 
Pro with M I O. That makes sense. But is it true that I'm going to be the lieutenant uh, governor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny if I really wanted to just throw the election. Right. Imagine I go. All right, he knows he's going to take over when I'm done. <laughs> It'll make me look smart. What's Clinton's wife's name? Hillary. Right. See, that was easy. Right. Can you spell astrology? It is a word you heard. Yeah, that's easy. A S T. R O L O G Y. Good. All right. She's not so she's stupid. Not, dumb. Oh, she's not that not dumb. dumb. No, that's all. So, when was the last time you got a girl? He hasn't. Did you get one since the last time you were on? Nah, but uh, nah. But hopefully, you can set me up. You set everybody else up. We will set me up. <laughs> I think that's too much of a challenge. <laughs> Even Elephant Boy is easier to set up than you. I know. I'll he get gets, it. but at least Kenneth Keith gets sex, but from ugly, ugly girls. Yeah, but even ugly girls, he doesn't get all the time. Yeah, well, come no. on, look at him. No, I don't. I don't. You know, I can't find. I mean, I used to like between ages of like sixteen and nineteen. I had like a big streak where I was getting all these nice looking girls. Yeah. yeah. But then, that, then it just dried up after that. And I can't get anymore. You were really getting good looking girls. Yeah, I was serious for like three years. Now. Really? Yeah, I can't get any good ones now. What is it? He sent this really weird letter to us. I think I put it in your mail about this obsession he has with like this. What, how old is she? Some girl in his neighborhood. She's like fifteen. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He has, he's got like this obsession with her. He wrote. He was gonna write a song for her and send it to us. Is that true? Oh, yeah, no, I don't really have an obsession, obsession for it. But you I did sing. You want to spell obsession? <laughs> no. Go ahead, <laughs> spell it. The song. Let me hear you spell that. Try that one. O b s e s s i o n. All right, that's good. That sounds pretty close. I just can't say it. Well, did you listen to the song? Spell yeah, statutory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what you're gonna be. <laughs> spell arrested. <laughs> So what's this? You're in love with some 15-year-old girl? Nah, nah. You were telling what? me at the China Club, you give me an earful about this girl and you dig her. And then you wrote this letter. And the whole letter said that, you know, you go to see her and you look at her from afar and you can't get close to her. They were the wor That was the words in the song. Oh. But no, she's um just a friend, you know. She's like 18. Oh, but, she's 18. But Yeah, but she doesn't like me, so I'm just going to forget about it. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 25. I just turned 25 on Monday. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, Thanks. another year of bliss. <laughs> Kenneth Keith Polanski. <laughs> hey, so, you're no worse than Seinfeld. He goes after young girls, too. Oh, man, I don't know about that, you know. Yeah. <laughs>